Some green tea is bitter, but it doesn't have to be this way. There are many techniques you can use to make your green tea less bitter and still enjoy its many health benefits. In this video, we're going to take a look at why green tea is bitter, how to fix it, and where you can find some sweeter tasting green teas. Before we get started, it would really mean a lot to us if you could subscribe to this YouTube channel and stay tuned for future tea videos. If you like this video, giving it a thumbs up would make sure that you see more like it in the future. If you'd prefer to read about this topic, we have a great blog article on our website neotees.com. We'll leave the link in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. Reasons why your green tea is bitter. To understand why green tea is bitter, we have to take a look at the chemical components of the leaf, as well as how the tea is produced. Let's take a look at a few different factors that can affect the bitterness of a green tea. First, we have catechins. Catechins are the primary antioxidants found in green tea. These can produce both a bitter or astringent taste, and they can also attribute to the drying or puckering sensation you get on the palate when you drink a cup of tea. Catechins are soluble in water, but they are not quite as soluble in cooler water. The date and area of harvest. The date a tea was harvested can impact how bitter it is. The first harvest of the tea plant in the early spring usually produces the smoothest and sweetest tasting green tea. Tea made from later harvest tends to be more earthy or bitter. One of the reasons why people think green tea is bitter is because the tea in tea bags is usually made from later harvests and lower quality leaves. Next we have polyphenols. Polyphenols are another component within green tea that can make it bitter. Polyphenols are found in many different plant species and they have beneficial impacts on human health. They act as antioxidants in the body and can help protect it against free radical damage. They can also attribute to bitter or astringent flavors in the tea. Next we have the type of green tea. Some green teas are meant to have some bitterness to them. Many tea drinkers like to challenge their palate with these more dry, astringent, or bitter flavors. This gives the tea more structure and a crisper flavor. An unshaded sencha, for example, is meant to have a little bit of bitterness, which will round out its flavor. If you don't like the bitter taste in tea, you can simply avoid some of the more bitter types of tea. Next we have mass production. Another reason why green tea is bitter has to do with its production. Most green tea is designed for convenience rather than taste. During this mass production, lower quality leaves are used and they are treated poorly. This leads to a flat or bitter flavor in the green tea, and this can be the reason why many people find the taste to be bitter. Next, we have the quality of water used for brewing. If you use lower quality water to brew the tea, it may lead to a bitter flavor. For green tea, we recommend to use lower temperature filtered water for the best results. In a later section, we'll give you everything you need to prepare a cup of green tea that's not bitter. Next we have caffeine content. Caffeine itself actually has a bitter flavor to it, and that's one of the reasons it's used as a defense mechanism against insects. Ironically, the caffeine content is one of the reasons why tea has become so popular for human consumption. Caffeine exists in very small quantities within the tea leaf, but it still does contribute to the bitterness in the tea. Brewing time can also increase the bitterness. The longer you brew the tea, the more components you will extract from the leaf. This also applies to the bitter components such as the catechins, polyphenols, and caffeine. If you want to prepare tea that doesn't taste super bitter, you will also need to get the brewing time right. Six ways to change a green tea that's bitter. One of the reasons why people think green tea is bitter actually comes down to the type of tea they've selected and how they prepare it. In this section, we're going to walk you through how to avoid this by selecting the right tea and preparing it the right way. First, select a tea from a sweet cultivar. While most Japanese green teas come from the Yabukita cultivar, this is actually one of the more bitter varieties of plants used for making Japanese green tea. One of the reasons why people think green tea is bitter may actually be because they're drinking the more bitter cultivars. If you're looking for a sweeter green tea, go for one from the Saimidori cultivar or Asatsuyu cultivar. Next, go for a shaded tea. If a farmer wants to create a sweeter green tea, he will cover the tea plant with a special type of netting called a kabuse. When the tea plant is exposed to sunlight, it will begin to convert the sweet and savory theanine into more bitter catechins. In order to maintain a higher theanine content, the tea plant needs to be cut off from sunlight with these nets. The longer the plant is shaded, the sweeter it can become. Next, brew with cooler water. Once you have your tea, you're going to want to make sure that you're brewing it properly. A lot of people that think green tea is bitter are actually just brewing it too hot. Luckily for people who like sweet teas, the bitter components of green tea, the catechins, are harder to extract. What you want to do is use a lower temperature water to extract less of these bitter components. How can I tell what temperature to use? To brew a warm gyokuro, we recommend to use 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit water. This will produce a tea with less bitterness. For a tea like sencha, you can go up to 160 degrees degrees Fahrenheit, and for tougher teas like hojicha, gemaicha, bancha, and even kukicha, you can go up to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. After you prepare these teas at lower temperatures, you may soon be reconsidering whether or not you think green tea is bitter. Cold brewing green tea. If you really want to extract less bitterness from the leaves, you can cold brew the tea. This method is used by some tea drinkers to create sweeter and smoother teas. Just add in 5 grams of tea leaves to the bottom of a pitcher, pour in some cool or room temperature water, and let the tea sit for a few hours. After the time is up, you can then pour 
pour the pitcher out into a glass and enjoy a nice, cool, refreshing cup of sweeter green tea. Next, you can brew for a shorter time. In addition to brewing at a lower temperature, you also want to make sure that you don't brew the tea for too long. While this may not apply as much when you're cold brewing, even 60 degrees Celsius is enough to extract bitterness if left for a few minutes too long. As a result, many people that brew tea too long will think that green tea is bitter. How long should I brew my tea? We recommend brewing for two minutes for gyokuro and one minute when it comes to other types of Japanese green tea like sencha. The reason gyokuro takes a little bit more time to brew is because it's tightly rolled. In order for these leaves to open up and fully release their flavor into the water, it needs an extra minute. There's also less catechins in gyokuro because of the long shading process, so there's less bitterness to extract. Use loose leaf tea and not tea bags. Unfortunately, most people that think green tea is bitter are drinking out of tea bags. Tea bags tend to contain much lower quality leaves when compared to loose leaf tea. Tea bags are made with the casual tea drinker in mind, and for this reason they are mass produced using the cheapest tea leaves. Tea bags are often made from the leftover leaves from the tea production process. They can be made from later harvests which contain less nutrients, or they can be made from older leaves, stems, or other plant material. The flavor of loose leaf tea couldn't be further from tea bags, with the tea bags having a flat and bitter flavor, and loose leaf green tea having a sweet and complex assortment of flavors. You might be using too much or too little tea. If you're using too much tea, this could be a reason why you think the green tea is bitter. There is a very precise ratio of tea leaves to water that you can use to get the best cup of tea. In the case of Japanese green tea, it's best to use 5 grams of leaves and 150 milliliters of water. This will make sure that you have a complex array of flavor profiles without being overwhelmed by the flavor. While it is best to use a scale to measure out your tea leaves, we understand that this might be too much to ask for most tea drinkers. Instead, what you can do is use a tablespoon. One heaping tablespoon of leaves should work for most types of Japanese green tea. After using the tablespoon to measure for a few times, you should have the right idea and you can just eyeball it from here on out. Sweeten your green tea the right way. Make sure that if you're gonna sweeten your green tea, you do it the right way. In Japan, it's almost unheard of to add sugar to green tea. The taste of the green tea is everything, and if you're not able to fully experience it in its pure form, you're really missing out. When you add sweetener to tea, it's almost like you're looking at it with blinders on. The subtle sweetness that takes so much work to create is completely lost. The pleasant bitterness that many tea drinkers enjoy is almost completely unrecognizable. There is something special about experiencing the drink just as the farmer intended that brings a deeper connection between the tea drinker and the field the tea was produced on. If you must sweeten your tea, we recommend that you actually eat a sweet like wagashi alongside it. This will help smooth out the bitterness, but you will still be able to enjoy the unadulterated flavor of each treat individually. Not all green tea is bitter, but it's easy to see how people think that given the most popular types of green teas come in tea bags. If you really want to experience smooth, sweet, and complex green teas, you will have to go for premium loose leaf tea. It may seem intimidating at first, but it's easy to find these teas online. Once you have the tea, you will just need to follow a few basic steps to prepare it the proper way. We are here to help you with both of these, with free worldwide shipping and daily tea education videos on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. We would like to think that we're making great tea more accessible to people all around the world, and we would absolutely love to be part of your tea journey. If you would like to support us, please head to neoteas.com and try some of our teas. We have the great privilege to work with a few small talented farmers in Japan, and all of them produce tea without the use of chemicals or pesticides. Again, it would also really mean a lot to us if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for future tea videos. If you have any questions about tea, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until then, we'll see you next time.